Hello space cadets and welcome to Mueller Planetarium Astronomy at Home. This is Zach Thompson, Planetarium Coordinator at the University of Nebraska State Museum at Morrill Hall in Lincoln, Nebraska, wishing you all clear skies. Today we're going to explore how people from all over the world see the same stars in different ways. We'll use our friend Stellarium. You can find the address stellarium.org on the right side of your screen being held up by our star buddies. Go there to download the free software on your computer at home so you can follow along with us or explore on your own. Since humans have had the time to do so, they have gazed at the night sky seeing various shapes and patterns and images among the stars, what we call constellations. People across the world have associated their own meaning to the constellations. Stories were told and handed down from one generation to the next, or these patterns were used to map the seasonal changes. Because our view of the stars change very slowly, the same patterns imagined thousands of years ago can still be seen today. Let's explore one constellation that many of us may already be familiar with and see how its significance is similar or different depending on which culture we ask. Gazing south or southeast in the very early morning skies this month is Orion the Hunter. Orion is a winter constellation in the northern hemisphere, best viewed in the evening skies starting around the end of December. Our view of Orion is special because people in both the northern and southern hemispheres can see these stars. The stars are also quite bright and close to each other in the sky, making them easy targets for beginner stargazers. Orion's name comes from Greek mythology. It imagined a mighty hunter adventuring across the sky. We can see shoulders, a waist, what some call Orion's belt, and knees or legs. But the Greeks didn't think of Orion on their own. They borrowed this depiction of a human from an earlier civilization, the Babylonians, among the first to catalog Orion's stars. Going even farther back than Babylon, it's thought that Orion's stars were found etched onto an ivory tablet from Mammoth Tusk in a cave in Germany. Those carvings are from about 33,000 years ago. Let's explore a wonderful feature now in Stellarium called Star Lore. This allows you to select different cultures from around the world and get a glimpse into their understanding of the sky. We'll use this tool to discover what significance the same stars in Orion may hold for others. In North America, some Lakota interpretations see the constellation of the hand in the bottom half of the hunter. As we see here by selecting Dakota, Lakota, Nakota from our star lore inventory here. The gods wanted to punish a Lakota chief for being selfish, so they made the thunder people rip out his arm. A young warrior, Fallen Star, returned the chief's arm from the sky and married the chief's daughter. This symbolizes harmony between the gods and people with the help of younger generations. In the Arctic, some Inuit stories tell of three hunters chasing a bear with a sledge off the edge of an ice floe and into the sky. The sledge is represented by Orion's sword. The three hunters are the bright belt stars, and the bear is represented by the star, Betelgeuse. The Aztec believed that the three stars of the belt of Orion were called the fire drill. Their rising in the sky signaled the beginning of the new fire ceremony, a ritual performed to postpone the end of the world. And, in Polynesian culture, the seven bright stars of Orion represent a child's string figure similar to a cat's cradle. These stars were also used by mariners to sail to Tahiti. As you can see, the stars are special to people across the globe 
and throughout time. But one imagining of a constellation is no better than another. These are just a few interpretations from people in unique circumstances. Nobody, nobody owns the stars. They are for all of us to share across the world and across time. If you look skyward on any clear dark night, what patterns can you see? Are they the same as those we explored today? Are they different? What's important is you make the stars your own. Make them meaningful to you. There is no right way to look at the sky, space, cadets. All that matters is you keep looking up.